morning everyone we're on the road we're here in pillager minnesota in a minute here we're going to be headed down the road east that way to brainerd minnesota Of engineered lumber we got to deliver it was all tarp for us I appreciate that my buddy Caden from work tarp this for me always good when you don't have to do that extra little bit of work first thing in the morning <laughs> doesn't happen very often so let's enjoy it so I gotta bring these tarps and straps underneath it back to the yard and all these bungees gotta bring these back no problem doing that. I'll find a space for, I don't know where I'm gonna put them because I don't got space, but we'll find space. We'll find space. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Not too cold. No snow on the ground here. Let's hope it stays that way because I've heard that out west in Saskatchewan and Alberta, they're closing highways. The snowstorms are rolling in. And usually whatever's going on in Alberta and Saskatchewan are headed towards me. Here, oh, I'm just south of Manitoba. And I'm in Minnesota, which is like mini Manitoba on a map. They're like the same, same shape on the map, but Minnesota has way more people. Manitoba's a little bit more empty. Just a little bit. Okay, we're very empty. We like it that way, it's quiet. Quiet and cold, flyover country, right? That's what we want to be. Okay, let's. Ah. We're getting here, old blue's all warmed up. I'm all warmed up. Got my face washed, got my teeth brushed, got a little coffee here to quickly drink on the way over there. Oh, what else could a man ask for? Let's get trucking. I don't know what the plan is. Once we're done yet, let's just do a little tug test here. Make sure the trailer's gonna come with me, gonna roll forward about 10 feet. Spike the trailer brakes. Trailer stays attached. Trailer brakes work, roll forward again. Trailer brakes release, wonderful. Okay, so I don't know what the plan is for me after I'm done delivering here in about an hour. Uh, they haven't let me know yet, and that's okay. I will have to bring this equipment back to the yard, so I'm kind of hoping that it'll be something going back to the Winnipeg area, but. I don't want to haul it around longer than I have to, you know? I'm gonna have six tarps with me. It's a lot of extra, a lot of extra baggage to carry around, you know? All those extra tarp straps and extra load straps. I'm gonna have to put them on the floor of my truck here on the, on the passenger side. I don't got any room for them in my storage compartment. I'm filled right up already. We'll figure it out. It's all good. Of 200 meters, make a U-turn if possible and then turn left and do 120 meters. Karen, you always want me to do that. She wants me to go straight here. It's a dead end. Go to the end of the dead end, turn around, come back, and turn left and go this way down this same meters, road. Turn left on, enter County B, MM 210. Time to wake up, Karen. turn left and there's traffic coming from our right so we're gonna hold off and wait there is a beautiful Peterbilt oh wait I think he's turning he's turning he's flashing me that I can go
nickels. I'm gonna need a lot of them. The next couple of years, I've gotta be laser focused. Especially the next year, I've gotta be laser, laser focused. going on here oh what's going on here oh oh boy this is unfortunate slowly squeak by them here slow down I don't know what's going on I appreciate these guys giving me space on the left there there we go the cars behind me weren't too pleased that I slowed down there but I'm sure those workers were Just a little bit, you know? 
because there's so much to see everywhere that nobody knows about. I don't know. I, I, that's sort of my thing. I like to explore. I like to see new places. I like to meet people and see how they live here. You know, what do they do for work? How do they make it by? How, how, how do they like it here? What life is like? How similar is it to my life? Usually it's pretty similar because Canada and the U.S. were uh, not quite a mirror image, but we're very similar to each other. Canada just has a tenth of the population and a little bit of a different government structure. The United States is a constitutional republic and Canada is a constitutional monarchy with democratic institutions. very very similar setup we all go back to the British Empire so we have the same history we're like two brothers who moved out of mom and dad's house and now we now we're neighbors where was that dog did you hear that it sounded like he was like in my truck that was a really loud bark that was impressive you go first man I'm just gonna slow you down there you go this okay so this isn't Ironton anymore now this is Crosby Minnesota established 1910 according to that sign I saw off to my left I guess they're two towns side by side that sort of grew into each other is that what happened
I think this one turned out pretty good. I'm pretty proud of that. Nice even line at the top. And the last one in here. Ah, uh, this is a little bit sloppy back here. Maybe I need another, maybe I need another bungee up there, down to here, but... Yeah, I probably should get one, hey? Let's go see what the other side looks like. Just to keep that tight there. Got a pretty straight line across the back here. Looks like that left side sunk down just an inch or so. Oh, boy. oh yeah, see this looks a little bit floppy here too. Okay, we can fix that with two bungees. Let me show you. It's very easy. First of all, you go and get the bungees. I drop my singles in here. I call them my singles because I just hang them up like that as singles. Not in a group or a bunch or a bundle. Okay, let's go back here. Yeah, I might have to jump for this. Now there's a ladder right there if I need it. Okay, so I think we're going to use this hook right there. First try. Nice. There it goes in the brain bucket. Put that back on. Okay, now let me just pull this tight. I'm gonna pull it and hook it down in here. There, you see how that tightened that all up there? That's not as floppy. You don't want it flapping around in the wind. Because if you get a flapping tarp, any corners you have in there, you see like that corner up on the second level up there? If you got your tarp flapping on that, that corner is going to rip right through your tarp, and then you got a hole. You don't want a hole. Okay, so this one we'll put into that ring right there. Let's see if we can get this on my first try. Oh, yeah, first try. Nice. Okay. Pull that tight down to here, just like the other side. There we go. Prevent most of the flapping. Ah, I think that's good. I think that's good. We're going six hours down the road. Got to deliver this back in Brainerd tomorrow morning. Nice little Christmas present for the good people in Minnesota. See, I'm carrying around these tarps this whole trip. There's my center one. They're heavier than mine though, so I went with mine this time. Much easier to roll up. And all of that equipment is in there. Making a mess of my interior. That's okay, because I didn't have to tarp the last load. Oh yeah, I gotta open this door. Can't drive through the door. They really don't like that. This one? That's the one. Let's get out there. It's dark outside already, so won't be able to film much. So, see you when I see you. I'm gonna head down towards International Falls, Minnesota, and Fort Francis, Ontario. Hopefully by the time I get there, we're cleared to cross, so that I can just zip down. Maybe get to Deer River tonight or something. Been a lot of deer on the road tonight. We're coming up to Deer River, ironically. I can see why they, they call the town Deer River. I'm sure there's a river nearby and oh, are there deer. Oh dear. There used to always be parking here. And then suddenly, it's always filled up. So I'm hoping today they're gonna have at least one spot for me. I really need it. I'm crazy tired. <laughs> I'm glad I found a spot here. Deer River because I had eight minutes left of my clock. <laughs> I was finding a spot here. I didn't really have a choice. Oh, it's time to go to bed. Oh, I'm so tired I don't even want to go from here to there. It's too long of a commute. I'm just going to sleep right here. Okay, I'm not that tired. I would have stopped already if I was that tired, but I definitely am. Oh, I drove my full, pretty much my full 11 hours. Oh boy, excuse me. Ah. And I still have an hour and a half to go to my destination tomorrow to deliver. 
I heard going to Brainerd again. And I don't have any plans for after that. I guess they're going to see what time I get there at and what time I get unloaded at. Hopefully there's not a lineup. We'll, we'll see when we get there. But anyways. Oh, it's a mess back there. <sighs> Everything's always a mess, you know? <laughs> Every... <laughs> One day everything will be neat and tidy. One day. I'm just, oh, I feel like I'm always in such a rush. Always just go, 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 go. Pushing myself, pushing myself, pushing myself. Because if I stop, things don't get done. That's okay. One day I'll be retired and then I'll slow down. Maybe, probably not. Until then, if I have the ability and the health to work, I should be working. You work, 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 work. I was taught that by example from my parents growing up. If you can work, you should work. You work for what you have. Nothing comes for free. There are no free things in life. If you want something, you go out there and you work for it. And that's that. So almost too tired to think. I'll see you tomorrow. When you're out there on the roads, keep your head up, keep your stick on the ice. And we'll see you tomorrow. Please drive safe.